Is it compliment or compliment? That's what we're talking about today and I'm going to make these two confusing words very simple for you by giving you lots of example sentences on how to use them in your speech. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. Now let's dive in with this lesson. Is it compliment or compliment? These are two very confusing words for native English speakers. We frequently confuse them, so I'm sure they're really difficult for you learning English as well. Now, first of all, you need to know that there's no difference in pronunciation, okay? So if you're using this in spoken English, it doesn't really matter which one you use because they sound exactly the same. But in written English, there's a difference, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now these two words have very different meanings. Let's start with compliment. Compliment is a verb, okay? To compliment. And for sentence structure, something complements something. Now remember, it's a verb, so it needs to be conjugated according to the sentence. What does this mean? It means to add to something, or to complete something, or simply to go together nicely. Here's a really easy example for you. When I am doing my makeup, I think when I'm choosing my lipstick color, I think, you know, what lipstick would complement my shirt, for example? Or when I'm picking out a shirt, I might think, what shirt would complement my pants? Which combination of things go nicely together? Does this lipstick add to my shirt? Does it complement it? Or does it take away from my shirt? And in that case, it doesn't complement it. So that's a very easy example. If you're a guy, probably picking out a tie. What tie would complement the shirt you're wearing? Now let's take a really fun example. Here we have a delicious piece of apple pie, my favorite pie flavor. Now think about this, okay? Thinking about our definition to add to, to complete, to go nicely together. What do you think would complement this apple pie? There's no right or wrong answer. What you think would complement this pie could be very different than what I think. But do you think there are other food items or beverage items that could complement this piece of apple pie? Hmm, put your answer in the comments. What complements this apple pie? Hmm, remember it's a verb, so you need to conjugate it accordingly when you put your example in the comments. So stop, pause the video if you need, and put it in the comments. What complements this apple pie? Well, many things could. The first thing I thought of was ice cream. Ice cream definitely complements apple pie, in my opinion. You may disagree, and that's okay. Whipped cream complements apple pie. Now, I've heard many people put a piece of cheese on apple pie, and they think that cheese really complements apple pie. That's one that's for me a little bit, I don't know, it sounds a little weird, but lots of people think that cheese complements apple pie. Now thinking about beverages, maybe a cup of coffee or tea or even hot chocolate, hot apple cider could complement this apple pie, a glass of milk could complement this apple pie, lots of different options could complement this apple pie. So now you know what complement with an E means. 
So put an example sentence in the comments. Pause the video and think of an example sentence. And remember, our structure is something complements something. And it's a verb, so you need to conjugate your verb accordingly. Pause the video, put your example in the comments. Now let's talk about complement with an I. This can be both a verb to complement and a noun, a complement or compliments. The meaning is completely different than complement with an E. They don't relate to each other at all, okay? So they're completely separate words. Complement with an I, you can think of them as kind words of praise or approval. So if you write in the comments, hey Jennifer, awesome video. You can pause right now and write that in the comments. Do it, just do it, okay? It's part of the example. So pause the video and write, hey Jennifer, awesome video. Right there, you just complimented me. Notice, you just complimented me. Is that a noun or a verb? What do you think? Noun or verb? Put it in the comments. You just complimented me. Well, it's a verb, and you can probably identify that it's a verb because it's conjugated in the past simple. You just complimented me because you just did the action, right? It's completed. You wrote in the comments. You complimented me. I could also say you complimented my video. I could say that as well. And this simply means you offered me words of praise, words of approval, and kind words. Now, if I'm walking down the street and you see me, you say, hey, I really like that sweater. You just complimented me. You complimented my sweater. Or if I smile and you're like, Jennifer, you have such a nice smile. You just complimented me, okay? So all these small little nice words, those are compliments. Those are compliments. Right there, did I use it as a noun or a verb? Those, those kind words, those are compliments. Here, it's a noun, okay? So, as a noun, it's a thing, like that word of approval, that word of praise, it's a thing. Now, of course, you can compliment somebody's smile, their hair, their earrings, their clothing, things like that, but in a workplace, Hopefully you're going to offer compliments, noun, hopefully you're going to offer compliments based on their work, based on their performance, right? So anytime your coworker or your employee does a good job, you can pay them a compliment. Pay them a compliment. You can also give them a compliment. Those are two verbs that we use interchangeably with the noun. So you can give someone a compliment, you can pay someone a compliment, okay? So let's say you're in a meeting and your coworker gives a presentation. At the end of the presentation, you can say, that was a really amazing presentation. You did an awesome job. Right there, you just gave your coworker a compliment, okay? You paid your coworker a compliment. Those two sentence structures are interchangeable and they're using the noun form. Now, you can also use the verb form. So pause the video and think, how could I take this example and change it into the verb form? Hmm, what do you think? Write it in the comments below. How could I take this and change it into the verb form to compliment? Do you have it? You just complimented your coworker. You complimented their presentation. You complimented them. So in this case, you need to remember that the meaning is very different between compliment and compliment, and also how you use them. Because compliment with an I can be used as both a verb and a noun. So I want you to get comfortable with both of these forms. So pause the video 
and write in the comments an example with the noun and the verb. So why don't you tell us the last time that you gave someone a compliment and the last time that you complimented someone using the same sentence in both a noun and a verb form. All right, awesome job. Now you know the difference between compliment and compliment and you feel confident using them in your speech. That's awesome. Now, if you found this video helpful and you want to give me a compliment, the best way you can do that is by hitting that like button, sharing it with your friends, and of course, by subscribing. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforestenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, awesome job. You know the difference between compliment and compliment. Make sure you leave a comment in this video and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, bye.